Hi folks, we're back out here with the JTS shotgun and uh, today we're going to try its arch nemesis. The problem I had, the, the ammo I had the worst problem with when I first got this thing. As I say, we put over 500 rounds through this thing. We've cleaned it. It should be good to go. We're going to try 25 rounds of this Winchester Universal. See how it cycles. See if it's back to where it can cycle it because, you know, this stuff's the cheap stuff at Walmart, 21, 22 dollars per hundred. So let's go ahead and load up some mags, and uh, we'll give it a whirl. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to open this straight up. This is a brand new case. I just purchased it on my way out here to the range, and uh, we'll go ahead and see what we can do. We're going to load up all the mags, the Sega mag, and the two uh, five rounds that came with it and then we'll come back and load another five. So, uh, for any of you interested in the shotgun, it is a, it has been a really nice shotgun for me. I have uh, put quite a bit through it. Uh, let's say this will probably be getting close to 600 rounds to this thing. And uh, it's been a nice, nice little shotgun. Now I do wish, of course, that it did take a Sega drum with it, which it doesn't, but uh, the 10 round mag is fine too. Uh, the, I don't know on the Vepper uh, mag it, or drum, it looks like it might fit it, but I don't have access to one of those at the present time. So maybe in a future video, we'll see if that works. But I, as I say, I do know the Sega drum by Pro Mag will not work with it. So. Don't waste your money going buying one of those, thinking it's going to work for this gun, because the, the, the magwell is just too too deep on the gun to uh, allow the that to, to feed up and sit in the gun correctly. But uh, as I said, I haven't had any problems with the 10 round mag, it, other than it's not 100% stable. It rocks a little bit, but it won't come out. It's done just fine. So. All right, we got 20 unloaded up. What we got here, we got some wood blocks, and then I've got some major dirt clods. Uh, they've been redoing the range here a little bit. Gun fell over onto the range, so I was gonna try to break, see if I can break some of those up a little bit. So let's go ahead and get our glasses on and our ears on, and uh, go out here and see how this does with these 25 rounds. As I say, I'm not gonna cut from it. This is exactly what we get, and if I have any problems, I'll show you what, the cause of it. So let's get after it what this thing will do. First five went fine. Let's go ahead and do the, uh, let's go ahead and do the, the 10 rounder. We're going to go ahead and work on those dirt clods, or those big pieces of dirt. See if we can get them knocked down. Looks like the round was fine. It just did not feed. We'll go ahead and run it back through to make sure. Okay, so we had a failure to check there, and then we had a failure to feed, and I went ahead and threw out another one. So let's go ahead and do the five round again. Obviously, this thing's been doing nothing to those damn dirt clogs. They're pretty tough. Okay, fed those fine. Let's go ahead and do uh, these two in 
This mag are the ones that we had problems with before. Or the one is, the other one, as I say, I just ejected it to, to get it out of the way, it didn't fully go in. So let's go ahead and shoot those two, see if we can get them to work now. Okay, so there you go. It's still not 100% reliable like some of the other rounds I've had. It's not doing bad though. I can't complain. Uh, one misfeed and then uh, a failure to eject. But, uh, you know, other than that, it, this stuff worked okay. So, I'm happy with that. And uh, I appreciate you all watching. Uh, as I say, I'm kind of going to say that this stuff will work fine with it. Just uh, make sure the gun's nice and clean. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.